It's your boy Man Mark. I'm checking in with Big Dad Talk Family. Big Lil Green, I'ma fuck with him. Yeah. Lame man, ho, I ain't never been a fuck nigga. When I'm hanging out, I'm worried about the dope nigga. Big Lil Green, I'ma fuck with him. Lame man, nigga, probably thinking he a tough nigga. I'ma pull up on your head, get your touch, nigga. One call, that's all, what's up, nigga? I got my dude, Man Mark, with me. How you feeling today, man? Shit, I'm tired of here, man. I been ripping and running, man. <laughs> Fact, how it supposed to be. Hold you it up. I'm 19. I just turned 19 in August. Ah, uh, you finished school? Yeah, I graduated from Thera High School in 2018. Alright, all right, so where you from? I'm from Bankhead, in the west side of Atlanta. Okay. Like down the street from um, where T.I. from. Alright, alright. You um, met T.I. before? Uh-uh. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. I saw him from you, I met him though. Alright, alright. So, um, what it was like growing up there, though? Shit. That shit was regular. That shit, it was, that shit was regular. That shit, it was boring, though. Like. Yeah. But when we get bored though, we always go do shit. Like we might go bust out for a window for no reason. Face, face. Go you know, pee up for a car. It just shit. We, you know. Yeah, nigga, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what was your household like? Shit, it was always me, my mama, and my little brother. Okay. And then mom got all boys. She got three boys. I got another little brother, but shit. He ain't, he, when we, when we was being on that side, he wasn't born yet. Okay, okay. He wasn't born in like 2000, he was not most of shit, so. Fight. Yeah, but it was straight up. It was just me, my mom, and my little brother. All right, all right. So what made you start chasing money at an early age? Shit. It really was like, we was already, the, the shit that we were doing, that we had going on for money. Yeah. We was already doing the shit for fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was already doing the shit just to do the shit. So when we started getting older and noticing, like, damn, mama needs some money. Mm -hmm. Then it became, okay, now we got, now we're doing it for some money. But anything we were doing, though, that shit started off as just shit. Nigga was just doing some shit. Just doing it, just to do it. Then later on, like, probably when I turned like 11, when I got my like, sixth grade, I turned like 12. That one stuff started. Really, when I got an A grade, when I turned about 13, that one stuff started like, oh damn, now I gotta be serious. Like, you feel hey, me? Hey. I'm doing it for a reason versus just doing shit. For real. Alright, so talk, talk to me about scandals. What that mean? Shit, it's me, I'm an outstanding person. Do what I am. And when I made it, when I made a song and I said it in the studio, yeah. Like, when I go in the studio, I just punch in. Hey. So, shit. I just said the shit. <laughs> you feel me? I was yeah. in that dance and I just said the shit. Like I was in that dance and he just came out. I was just rapping. Fake. And I having fun and he just came out. I fuck with that word. So how old you was when you started rapping though? Um seventeen. Seventeen. I made my first song in two thousand seventeen. In okay. November, but I didn't drop a mixtape until 2018 in December. Oh, all right, all right. So what you think made you want to rap though? Shit, I just always love music. Yeah. I always love music. Like when I was like, when I was 12, I think my granddad died when I was 11. Yeah. Then when I was 12, well, he died like a week before Christmas. So when I when he died. When he had the last thing he bought me was like was a little laptop. Yeah, yeah. And my mama had bought me some headphones. So she I just started making beats on the computer. I was like 11, 12 years old. You still do that shit, make beats? Hell nah. Hell yeah. nah. I started I was doing that shit for like a year, then I stopped. Well, I, I and I just got them cause I had some other shit going on in the street. I really just doing it anyway, just for fun then. Yeah. Me just listening to other rappers and like starting to see like damn youngie head, like Facts, facts. Per perfect example, Lil Snoop. Meet me up, meet me up. Like, he went up 17, 16, so that shit. He started making me feel like, oh, they can do it, I can do it. Type of shit. So, facts. That real talk. So, what was your own first time in the booth like? Shit. I don't know. It was like. My first time in the studio, when I my first time in the booth, I would get up. I had smoked weed and I don't even smoke. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. I didn't even smoke back then. Okay. So then when I, I had on smoke, I was like, I got to be how to do this shit. I ain't never did this shit before. I didn't really feel me. So yeah. when, I went, when I went in that motherfucker, it was just, I just said some shit. And shit, I might have asked my cousin of the engineer how it sounds. They were like, good and shit. I just kept going. I just kept going, shit. It wasn't nobody but me. Both my cousins in there with me. And the engineer who was at the engineer house when I recorded the shit, so shit. Yeah. I can't, I can't even say it felt no type of way. It's just like shit, I was just doing this shit. I was young years, so like. Fact, I feel I feel you. Doing some shit. So, were you getting um, support on the first song you dropped? From my friends? Anybody. Not from everybody else. Not from anybody, G, your friends? I'm, say, I'm saying from my friends. Like, oh, wow. Right. The first song I, the first song I made, I had played it for all my partners. I let all my partners in. They were like, that shit hard. And I let, um, then they were like, they were like, they were just like, this shit hard. They were like, it sounded like, you know, it sounded like my first song. Like, it sounded like I've been doing it for a minute. Facts, facts. So you feel me? So when they said that. It boosts your I confidence made, to that I, shit. I made the song in 2017 November. I dropped the song 2017 December. And shit, after that, I really didn't drop no other music. I just went to the studio. I went to the studio and kept going. Every day, if uh, I get done doing whatever I'm doing in the street, I go to the studio, get my partner to drop me off on the studio. I always just go, just go for fun. Cause we young, I was making a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Then like I, I wasn't having them to spend the money. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was spending the money on shit like yeah, helping my mama and shit. But that shit, I was young, so she really wasn't asking me for too much. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Even the shit I was doing, she really didn't even want to ask me for it. You know what I'm saying? So. So it be. I have a lot of money, I ain't had to spend that shit on, so I was spending on the studio. Oh, Alright, so you like your first song as much as you like your music now that you've been driving? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hell no. <laughs> that shit don't even it don't even sound the same. Like. If you if you hear this shit, either you gonna say either you not gonna think that's me, or when you hear it, you gonna be like, damn, boy, you you had you sound you young yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that shit. Nah, I feel you. Nah. Alright, uh, so you saw yourself rapping when you were younger? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I was like, around the time I was making beats, I did. Okay, okay. But like I said, I always saw like, I listened for like, the first rapper I listened to was Lil Wayne. I would listen to him a lot. Then it was Future. Then Rich Homie Corn. Then I saw this in Lil Snoop, but you know, his music was like, he was about doing like the freestyle, so. Yeah. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I was still listening around the corner too, type shit. Right. So it was just like shit, just watching them. I was just thinking like, damn. I was picturing that being me, you see what I'm saying? So, right. yeah. You can say I did, yeah. Alright, so you done any show? Have I done any show? Yeah. Hell yeah. What? Man, every goddamn. I don't do show. All in Atlanta. Davidville, Morrow. Hello. Oh, oh man, in Georgia though. Okay. I ain't did no shows outside of Georgia yet. Uh, I have right. shows on there in Georgia so far. Uh, so what was your most memorable performance? The first, the first performance I did. I don't know. I can't say I don't know. Cause it like. I got two. I said the first performance I ever did, yeah. and the first performance that I did where they knew the words. So yeah, you feel me? The first hard. performance I ever did, I performed a song and I had never dropped any music before. Like ever. I had never dropped any music before. So when I when I performed the song, everybody in the club like and then I wasn't even I wasn't even on the stage. I might was standing on top of like it might have been a reel or something. I was standing on top of the reel. Yeah. You feel me? I had one hand on the ceiling to hold me from falling. I was standing on top of the reel performing and everybody in the club was just staring at me like I fought around that I just looked, everybody in the club just staring at me like who the fuck you do, young nigga? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> and then like a minute after that, after I did drop some music, I did another show. And then shit, when I walked in and did the show, everybody in there knew the words to the song. And it was just like shit. Thanks, thanks. And I know like, okay, yeah, no. shit. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, for it. real. All right, so you got anywhere you would like to perform though? Any place I would like to perform? Yeah. Mm. 
Nah, it ain't no specific place, like, location I would like to perform, but venue. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would, I want to perform, like, big concerts. Face, face. Like, like, Lil Uzi did them concerts, like, big ass concerts. Oh, yeah. Like, Travis Scott and them big ass, like, big ass, like, festival concerts. Face, face. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd know the music. <laughs> face, face. And that type of shit. Uh, so I see you've been performing at a couple of schools too. What's been your favorite school so far? So far? Um, I don't got no favorite. Cause shit, I, don't, I get the same reaction out of them. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I get the same reaction out of them. just like how a lot of schools I go to, they'll, they'll run out the bleachers. <laughs> yeah. Me? Uh, so what's your favorite song by you though? My favorite song by me? Yeah. Release. My favorite release song by me? I said he told his mama on me. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah. I said he told his mama on me. Why you choose I'm that one? I'm supposed to say Campbellton, but I said he told his mama on me. Cause it like, it like the vibe of that song and like the shit like. See, it be different when like, when you, let's say you listen to my music. Yeah. You like shot ripping it motherfucker. But when I listen to it, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I know what situation I'm talking about. Like, fair, fair. Nigga really told him on me, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then yeah. like the whole song just like when we shot the video, it was fun. Like the whole song just that motherfucker. It got its own vibe. It, like it sound like a little sneaky song, but that motherfucker hard. It just I don't know. It just it was just one on one to me. Like Camerton. I don't make other songs that sound like Camerton. Like, I ain't make yeah, other songs. Yeah, that was a little kind of different to me. Yeah. Felt you know kind of different. It was a little different, yeah. Yeah. All right, so how did it make you feel to see like folks actually fucking with your music, knowing the lyrics, making dance videos and shit, all that? Shit. To be honest with you, it don't feel like that. Yeah. I don't, it don't feel like that. It just feel regular. <laughs> yeah. Because shit, to people around me, like, let's say one of my partners. Yeah. He might be like, damn, this shit crazy. Like, everybody fuck with your music, you know. But shit, y'all gotta think. I, I, I already saw that for myself. So, you see what I'm saying? So, it's like, once it's, when it happened, it ain't no, damn, what the fuck? He like, shit, I already, I already had it mapped out of my head. I already saw it for myself. Yeah. Everything, everybody knowing my music, being piped up to it, just loving me. Like, I already, I already mapped it out for myself, so it wasn't no surprise. Like, it, it did make it do make me happy though. Yeah, you know but, but you had that you had that confidence all along. Shit yeah. was gonna get though. Yeah, not even being cocky, it just I had the shit in my head for so long that it was gonna be how it is. Fake. So it just like when they got how it is, just like, all right, now what's the next step? You know what I'm saying? Fake. Some shit like that. Uh, so you done any features? Have I done any features? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just did a feature right out here. Uh, who, who, who when I, when you called me, yeah, and I told you I won't do. I was gonna um, come here when I leave. Yeah, I was in the booth doing the feature. I did a um, I don't do the feature for a lot of goddamn folk, man. I did a feature for Young Boot. Um, the guy that just sent me a song yesterday to get on. Okay. I did a feature with the girl named that girl Nene. I did a feature with Band Gang Marco recently. I did a feature with goddamn. I just did it. The dude I just did a feature with today on um, Ain't Facts, Big H on Facts. Okay. They got a song, Run Me Up a Bad. Oh, yeah, I know that, bit. Yeah, I did a song with him today. Man, I don't do, I don't do a lot of goddamn songs. I don't even. I did a song with Young DB. Yeah, then my brother, I did a song with Young DB. And my stepbrother. Oh, alright. So I you did got. I a song with Bell Gleezy. Yeah. Like, I don't do a lot of songs with folks. Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, so you got any rappers, like local rappers, that you would like to work with? Any local rappers that I would like to work with? Yeah. Mm. What you mean by local? Like in your area, Atlanta, basically. Oh, so any rappers from Atlanta? Yeah. I'd like to work with. Yeah. Shit. Mm, I can't. Nah, I can't say that. Okay. Cause shit, it like. I'm willing to work with anybody. Like, I'm willing to do a song with anybody, but ain't nobody in the city. I just like, oh, I gotta get a song with him. Hey, it's, hey. it's a lot of nigga who hard from our city though. Yeah, for Feel real. Me? It's a lot of nigga who hard from our city. We got baby, 
Lil, Lil Baby. Yep. We got Thug. We got. Feel me? So we got a whole bunch of folk, bro. Right? Yeah, Atlanta running, running that shit now. Atlanta running that rap you know shit what right now. Like, we got a whole bunch. We got Nigo. We got a lot of folks. So ain't nobody out I, I, that I say, like, oh, I want to do a song with that. I got to do it. Nah, you know, yeah. like that. But I'm willing to do a song with anybody, though. I feel I fool with everybody that fool with me. Right, I feel you. So when you started that on Mad Mood Cool Line, see the way that went. It became Mad Mode recently, like a couple months ago. Right. But we been had a clothing line. It was one hand family. That's where everything based off of one hand family. So it like every now and then we'll come up with like different names. Are you feel me? Like we went from. Like we got one in family, we got grind mode, we got mad mode, hey. feel me? So we just say like mad mode, just, now we just say that, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, now we look at it like mad mode is the, the brand of the, the whole, the whole company. Hey. And got, and got in mad scandalous, or it can be some mad mark, custom clothes, or grind mode, or whatever logo, whatever it'll be with, it'll just be like, it'll be an extension of mad mode. So uh, we look at uh, it like one end is his own design, his own line of clothing. Like, hey, you know what I'm hey. And Mad Mode is it's not even it's not a line of it's not a design for Mad Mode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like not, how Nike got Amex, F O ones, yep. Joy, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Same type of shit. I don't shit like that, yeah. Alright, so we made y'all wanna start that clothing line though. Shit, my partner Core. He came to me one day and was like, he he was like, man, I'm finna start getting it on. Um, it won't end shit, man. I'm gonna get some hoodie made. I'm trying to get down, do this and do that. And got down, you feel me? So yeah. he really brought the shit up, of course. So then he was like, um, when he came to me about it, I told him, I was like, shit, well, if you know that, you know, if you're gonna do that, you gotta go get the shit copyrighted. So they wanna try to label us as a gang. Hey. You see what I'm saying? Hey. Like he can like he can say he can and he went and did the shit the next day. Like he went and got the shit copyrighted the next day after I told him like. Cause you know like he can sell you a hoodie. Let's say he sell you a hoodie. Yeah. You can go rob a nigga in that motherfucker. And he can't it can't come back to him. You see what I'm saying? Hey. Cause it's copyrighted. Let's say uh, he sell a hoodie to a nigga he don't know, but his shit ain't copyrighted and then go rob somebody with the won't end hoodie on. And we and we the ones who won't end. Hey. So now everything now what he did with that hoodie on coming back to us it's like, oh man, nigga had on one end hoodie. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, some shit like that, basically. Thanks, thanks. So can you order it though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can um you can you can you can put in an order, like you can DM you can DM him or you can DM the page to put in a pre order or I think you can go you can go to the website. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he yeah, he got him on there. Yeah, he put him on there now. He ain't had the clothes. He been had the website. He ain't put the clothes on that first shit. But they on that now. All right, all right. So are you are you planning on signing or staying an independent artist? Shit, I plan on doing whatever I feel like best for me. Okay. So shit. With that being said, what I mean is, if I sign to somebody, it's because it was a good. I feel like it was a good situation to take me to the next level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I'm not one of no rappers who gonna get in this motherfucker and just say, "Oh no, nah, I'm staying independent. I'm doing this. They gotta bring me two or three M's to sign, man. I'm being realistic, like you feel me? If I sign to somebody, it gotta be because that's the best situation for me. And they don't have to come bring it back. I ain't saying no yeah. ten million or no shit like that. Yeah, you but you still know yeah. your worth. You feel me? Uh, so has anyone tried to sign you though? Yeah, yeah. I'm finna go to um A label flew me out to New York, like oh, that's hard. Two, three weeks ago. And then I'm going to another label flying me to LA Monday. Then another label flying me to New York on Wednesday. But it's not the same label from New York. Yeah. The the last one. Yeah, hey, that man hell label. Like, you know, labels, rappers, like you know how rappers be signed. Yeah, labels, sure do. Alright, uh, so how has becoming an artist affected your life and the people around you? Shit, I was always and got the cool like if you knew me, you knew me. Like you feel me? Yeah. I was always the one we we go places. 
on the quiet one. I ain't really got too much to say. You feel me? Like, when they like even when, even when I go somewhere, like, I ain't never used to like going to clubs and shit. Like when my partner, they called me to come to a club. They calling me for some bullshit. Like you feel me? <laughs> they tell me like I might be in the bed sleep. Like my way yet yeah, pull up. Yeah. With me just outside. Like you know what I'm saying? Hey. Shit like that. So with that being said, it's just like everything different with me being a rapper. Like now. Everything fall back on me. Hey. Like, you feel me? Like, hey. If somebody around me go do something, it come back on me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if one of my partners, it, the any decision they made, it come back on me. Like hey. you feel me? If my partner go rob this nigga, a nigga gonna have a problem with me. You see what I'm saying? Cause a nigga gonna feel like I'm I'm the head hunter on the top of everything. Yeah, yeah. On, so, hey. You know what I'm saying? If my partner shoot a, another nigga who in this crew. And that crew gonna have a problem with me cause they feel like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the idea. So shit, everything fall back on me. So AJ, but I don't give a damn about shit. Right. All right. So you got any females that wasn't trying to mess with you in the past that's trying to fuck with you now? Hey, yeah. Let <laughs> me hold on. Lot they rather they out there rather they mine. What the fuck wrong? Yeah. Now I ain't gonna lie. I be laughing at it though. Like it be funny. Feel me? It, yeah. It, it's, it, it be funny, bro, cause it be like it be girls like I don't, I don't try to talk to you, I don't try to talk to them before I was rapping. Yeah. But it might have been when I first started off rapping before I got to where I am now, as far as the fame wise. Yeah, so, yeah. And they went, shit, they went stun me. You feel me? Hey. They went stun me. They just, I ain't gonna be a shit a bit. I might ask her for a number. She might have sent the number, but didn't take back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. she might have just. Diss me like you feel me? Then then it like, but one thing I know though, like even if I show you an old picture, of me, I've been looking the same since I was like twelve years old. Fuck, fuck. Like literally, like my mom can show you a picture, and I've been looking the same down there my whole life. I just got hair on my face now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I've been looking the same since I was like twelve years old. So a bitch ain't say, oh he don't got fine now. Nah, bitch, I look the same. <laughs> they want to feel me. They want Ain't that same teeth the same? Everything like. Face, face. Alright, so how you choose the right time to drop your songs and music videos? Feeling? I do it based off of feeling. Yeah. Like, I do, I make my music based off of feeling. I do everything based off of feeling. Yeah. So, you know, like, most people, see, I'm not signing. So, you know, most people, when they, when they drop something, they send it in to the label. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the label really pick when you drop. Like you feel me? You can say yeah. you can say your shit in to your label and be like, shit. I wanna drop I wanna drop my tape. I wanna drop mid tape November first. They say, alright, send it in, we gotta look over, alright, we're gonna drop it November first. You can do it, or you feel me? You, you can send it in, say I wanna drop it November first. You wanna end up dropping it to December first. Yeah. January first. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just do it off of feeling. Like, Really, whatever the, the hype about, like you know what I'm saying, hey, like Hamilton. Hey. The reason I dropped them off of cut a bit with like a video, like somebody recorded me while I was shooting the video, yeah, and put it on their Instagram, and it went viral. That how everybody started making the videos to Hamilton. The video yeah. to the song wasn't even out yet, so like when I dropped the song, everybody was already going viral with it, so they couldn't wait to go listen to it. So a bit was going on. It was getting like ten, twelve thousand views every day for the first six days it was out. Oh. And I dropped the, I dropped the video, the seventh day it was out, and the video like folks was already the the snippet from the video it wasn't even no snippet it was just somebody like recording my shit it was like yeah. behind the scene look you know what I'm saying I feel. that went viral so shit when the video dropped it just instantly went up and then by the song being hard it, everybody just fucked with the song you know what I'm saying but it instantly went up off of everybody doing the challenge to the song then when they listened to it. Of course, the motherfucker hard, so now they fuck with it because it's hard too. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So you got anything you don't like about rapping, though? Anything I don't like about rapping? Yeah. Um. If I had to say anything I don't like about rapping, it's just like, like some shit, like people, like people be different. True. Like, a lot of people they say like when nigga get famous and shit or nigga get rich, folks start they'll start acting different. Like, it be the people around you like For real. Like if I like if I go somewhere, 
people around me, like a nigga might run up on me. You feel me? <laughs> a nigga might run up on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you feel me? I, you know, I'm going to be on something else. I don't know what the head you got going on. You see what I'm saying? Like, matter of fact, yeah. they have today, they didn't earlier today. You feel me? I turn around, these three niggas staring at me. I don't put out my gun and everything, but I, you feel me? He saw he saw them before I turned around. They were looking at me before I turned around. They were like that mad Mark, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that and goddamn just how people treat me. Like people treat me different. Like family members or yeah. partners who ain't really we ain't close. They be trying to be close to him. Like they want to get in. Like they yeah, put it. themselves in the mix. That's really the biggest thing for when folk trying to put themselves around me a lot. I feel it. it be straight though, shit. I get used to it. I know. I know how to tell the difference from real and what's on. So. Always. All right. So who are you listening to growing up though? Who I listen to growing up? Yeah. Um. First, Lil Wayne. Like, and I think I started listening to Lil Wayne on my dad. Like my dad was playing this shit in the car. I started listening on heavy. Then it went to Future when Future came out. Then Rich Homie Corn, Rich Homie Corn came out. Then I started listening to Lil Snoop. And I was still like listening to Rich Homie Corn too, because like yeah. I said, you know, Lil Snoop, like he was like a freestyle artist, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then after that, NBA Youngboy. Yeah, because like, when he first came out, I was like 2016, I was 16. Yeah. I was in like 10th grade, I think. Uh, uh, like so which one of them you think had the biggest influence on you though? Out of all of them? Yeah. Probably Snoop. Yeah. Snoop was like the biggest influence on me. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah
I know somebody else gonna drop on crew. Right, I, don't, I don't know who. I don't know who. I don't know who it might be. Fact. It might be Lil Baby. It might be Young Boy. It might be Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? It might be. I got somebody gonna drop on. And then you know, like other artists really don't. Like folks to say shit. It don't matter if he dropping. You can still drop. Fact. But shit, if y'all share the same type of fans, it do matter. You know True. What I'm saying? Like, True. See if. If Kevin Gates dropping some on Crib, I don't give a damn about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. We ain't sharing the same fan. Yeah, true. But if NBA Youngboy drops some on Crib, shit, we we got the same type of fans. Like, folk who listen to him, listen, folk, well, folk who listen to me, listen to him. Cause yeah. he bigger to me. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So, most folk who listen to me, listen to him too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, if Lil Baby drop a tape, most folk who listen to me, listen to him too. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Then by him being bigger than me, his shit I already. No, yeah, I'm saying, they so gonna I be focused on his the bar, shit. The bar already. Yeah. Sick, you see what I'm saying? It's just like so shit. That just how it is. I that, see. Like, it don't that it don't apply for every artist though. It just something for it. like. Sure. I like Lakey. They said Lakey drop a tape on Crim. Yup. You feel me? Me and him share a lot of the same fam. Look at it. We share sure a lot do. of the same. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I sure we, do. We, right. We ain't down there in the same bracket right now. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So we share a lot of the same fam. So like. Shit, if he if one of them to call me right now and say, shit, I'm dropping, drop my tape on, I'm probably drop my shit on Krim. I ain't gonna drop my shit on Krim. You know what I'm saying? Fake. That just off of, you know what I'm saying? Not even on no, that just shit, you just give a nigga a room to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Fake, fake. All right, so what do you see yourself in five years, though? In five years? I see myself in a big ass house. With a lot of luxury car. Yup. A big ass artist. Yup. Like, just like, and then when I told you about them concerts and festival, yeah, I'm it's definitely you. doing that. Like, I'm talking about selling shit out. Like, I'm trying to be out there. Um, I did with Drake. Like, <laughs> that type of big. <laughs> big on big, man. Yeah, I see myself in five years, though. Just a big ass artist with a lot of luxury shit. Like, you know, come up for like, most folk like cars, like Hellcats, yeah. Lamborghini and Ferrari. I, I, I prefer shit like Maybachs, Rolls Royce, right. Bentley's. Cause I feel like I buy the other cars too, Hellcats and shit. That shit cool. I just feel like them boss cars though. You know what I'm saying? Like when a nigga, a nigga come through the hood in the Hellcat, you like, that motherfucker hard. Thanks. You feel me? Like, but a nigga come through in the bent, you like, who the fuck inside that motherfucker? Like, you feel me? <laughs> like, fuck the car, who the hell inside this motherfucker? Like, hell coming down back here in a Bentley truck. <laughs> All blue. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's your boy Mad Mark. You heard of that bad top film first. <laughs>